it's a Columbus Day haul. Two and a half months early. And there's a bright light over my right eye, over my left eye, right there. So I'm going to hold the books like this so as not to blind you. Ha, 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 ha. So what do we have here? We have a little half price earlier this week. Uh, found a little moon dragon with the thing in Marvel 2 and 1, number 62. I dig moon dragon, and I'm collecting Marvel 2 and 1s randomly when I see them. Um, you know, I'm trying to pay them for them on the cheap. Uh, I could get them $1.50, $2. A lot of places, half price is going to charge me like $3 or $3. Um, but since this one had Moon Dragon on it, and I loved her in New Defenders when I was a kid, boom, hitting that. Uh, another one, when your brother becomes a doctor, New Avengers 54, when uh, Brother Voodoo becomes a Sorcerer Supreme and takes on the moniker um, Dr. Voodoo. That's a doctor to you. This one I can't believe I found for $1.75. Deadly Class Number One. If you've never read that series, do yourself a favor and go pick up some trades. And then this week, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, we were down in Portland just for a little family trip because we love eating in Portland. Uh, honeybees. Check out honeybees if you like good Filipino food. Honeybees in Portland is the place to go. Love that place. Anyway, um, yesterday on before we left, I stopped at Cosmic Monkey. Comics, uh, which has an amazing, amazing back issue bin. And I grabbed this for 20 bucks. This Michael Cho 1 in 20 of Miss Marvel number 4 from the 2016 series. G. Willow Wilson's second run in Miss Marvel. And I love this book. This book is so beautiful. Um, I love the way there's a little bit of negative space going on here, but that's not like the whole thing. Um, and just this Michael Cho style is so cool. He did a number, he did a vision like this. Um, he did a number of characters. Really, really great books. Um, yeah, excited for that. Uh, low key trying to get the first Runaways um, series. I think there were 18 issues. A lot of Joe Chen and Josh Milton covers. Um, some are better than others. Uh, like this one, I particularly like this cover. Uh, this is what, 13, I think? 14, sorry. 14 and 13. Binge. And these stickers don't come off, man, from this store. So I got to rebag all of these. But I wanted to do a little haul before I did that. Haul video. Columbus Day haul video. It's not Columbus Day. Fables 143. This is one of four issues in the 150 issue run that I needed. 136 was another one. The only thing I left I need to get for Fables is issues 121 and 122. Um, also trying to finish Jerry Hudlin's run on Black Panther. I don't know if I need to finish his run or finish the series. He fin he stopped writing it before the series ended. Um, I really like his work, but I might just get the whole series. Because I already have a number of the issues um, in that series that he hadn't written. Uh Issues 20 and 21 for Air. This was, I don't think it was G. Willow Wilson's first work in comics. I think it is one of her earliest works. I think she did one or two other series for DC before um, she got on this Vertigo book. But Air, I've read like the first three or four, maybe five issues. Um, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but, you know, I, I do dig the, the, the covers. Um I like the artwork, and you know me, I like collecting runs and finishing runs, especially by authors or artists that I like. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, about 10 issues, maybe 15 issues away from this 50-issue run. Um, the second Unbeatable Squirrel Girl run by Erica North and Ryan Henderson. Um, issue 8, this is a fabulous series by Tom King, and I believe Miss Gerard, yeah, King and Gerard's before they... Did anything else? They they did this together. Um, my lord, I loved reading this. Um, I've read both trade paperbacks. I finished the series, um, but I need now that I've got issue eight. I need issue three, both, to finish that series. Only twelve issue series. Really, really great. Okay, half price books. Um, no, no, so this is still Cosmic Monkey. Sorry. I can't believe I found this one for five bucks. Bam. 
Black Hammer, number one, first printing, um, cover A, A cover. Uh, still easily, I mean, I don't think it's a $50 book, but you could get 20, 20 30 for it. Um, so I was happy to pick that up for five. If you have ever watched my full run Fridays, you know that I tried to do a full run of 100 bullets. Put the box right here, and I was really excited to show you guys going through the books, all the covers showing you, you know, Dizzy Cordova and Agent Graves and Lono and, and everything and how great it was and super excited. And I got up to issue 88, and then I went to the next bag. I didn't have issue 89. I don't know. But anyway, I now have issue 89. All right, this morning... My son's taking his driving test in about half an hour, so we went for one last drive, and after we went to the recycling place to drop off our glass, I said, all right, now we're going to go to Half Price Books, and went to Half Price Books. Another run I'm low-key trying to finish, New Avengers. And I don't what does that mean, low-key trying to finish? It means I'm not jumping on eBay and just, like, New Avengers run Bendis 2000 whatever and buying the whole thing. I'm just trying to pick it up when I see him for a good price and you know a dollar fifty a book or two dollars a book um, is a decent price. So I grabbed that one and that one and I always wanted to read this from Valiant, uh, the Secret Weapons. This is the cover B. Is it connecting? No, it's not connecting. It's just some stuff on the back. Um, I always wanted to give this a read. Uh, the guy who became the, um, I guess, the editor-in-chief of, of Valiant at this time, I used to follow on Twitter, I don't remember why, and he was promoting this book a lot, so I thought I'd give that a try. Now, they had some Star Wars books. They had a lot of Star Wars books. I mean, they had a lot of Star Wars books, most of which I had, and I had to, like, not buy them because they were all dark horse newsstands and i just wanted to grab everyone but i didn't i didn't i did grab this purge one shot that's in pretty nice condition that is a newsstand grabbed yet another new avengers apparently it was in a different pile uh these books are all ones that i needed to um help fill out series there's rebellion number 13 Dark Times, issue 10, 9, you can see it's a little uneven on this, not this sort of book that I would ever press, but just nice to have it, you know. Um, yeah, Dark Horse, Star Wars, some of it's good, some of it's not that good, um, you know, and I'm a devout Star Wars fan, so I'm allowed to say that. There we go, we got issue 8, and of course we got issue 7. Also in pretty good condition, you know, some dirt like that. Right there, I can get off. The goal is to get that off without lightening the rest of the gray around there. So, let's see how we do. Grab a little magic eraser. There you go. That's all you got to do. Um, then they had this Purge, um, the Hidden Blade. Very cool cover. I'm pretty sure I have one of these two Purges because I didn't have it written down. There's something that's missing. But that's such a great cover and in a newsstand. I'm like, whatever. I'm, I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm getting that. And then they had a really nice run on Elf Quest uh, issues I already had, so I didn't get them. But then I saw this for five bucks. And it's pretty dirty. If you're an ElfQuest fan or you're just a collector, $1.50 is the second print. You're looking for the dollar um, issue. But I believe between a cleaning and a press, I can make this look really, really nice. And that's my goal. Um, first, we'll get it out of this bag and find a better bag for it. I think I've got magazine bags somewhere. Um, it is pretty dirty like fingernail dented on the back um, and is pretty 
sturdy with crinkles, but not necessarily color breaking ticks. I mean, color breaking ticks are hard to tell on a white book, but I can make this look really nice and give it away to somebody who's an ElfQuest fan. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for the next uh, half hour or so is clean this and get this ready for um, for pressing. Go to school on Monday, grab the press, and take care of that. That's it. That's it. That's I'm done. Don't just go away. There's nothing else for you to do here. There's no reason for you to be here right now. So get out, and I'll catch you later. Thank you for watching. I think I'm supposed to tell you to like and subscribe if I remember what the manual said. So please like and subscribe. Otherwise, something bad happens to me, I think. All right, I'm done. Take care. Bye.